So here's something you might not have seen before. It is a TV that is this small. It has a little dial and like a bunch of other dials. It has AC power and a few other settings for what like channels to connect to. Out the back we got composite and like I believe that's a headphone and uh I think external something but <laughs> maybe external speakers and then like DC in video in audio in uh it's got contrast brightness and whatever V hold means and a whole one speaker so that's cool but one specific thing manufactured June 2002 so this is like only a few years before the iPhone happened and it looks like this and I got one more surprise once I plug this in in here uh, turn it on That's very loud for one now my phone might freak out here but once I switch it to AB it should handle the flickering a little bit better especially if I focus here so yeah it is a just normal TV <laughs> it just flickers a lot so what I have here is a Nintendo 64 and a dog um, I'm going to attempt to play a video game on this. Um, it only has mono audio, so we're just going to ignore the red one. Okay, so now it's on AV. And... Nothing. Nothing at all. No matter what you do, it just don't... <laughs> it does make a cool sound, though. Very nice. Um, you see, out the back here, it does have batteries. And as you can see, I duct taped it when I was younger. But, uh, <laughs> I cannot afford 10 DC batteries. You got the jumper pack, though. That's what matters. It makes a staticky noise when something isn't working, but, like, it makes a bit of a humming noise when it is. I don't know what the issue is, but I might try a GameCube instead. So here we have our GameCube, and of course Melee is in it because, yeah, but turn that on, turn this on. Uh-huh. Ooh. That, uh... So it's not the best picture. <laughs> In fact, I think it might be one of the worst ones. It's kind of weird that this works, but the 64 didn't. Because I know both of them work. Huh. Might try a few of these sliders. Actually, what about this one out the back that I was talking about earlier? It seems to have entirely stabilized on my phone camera, but in real life, it is still a whole mess. Oh, no. On the, on the screen, it's still uh, not exactly working out great. <laughs> this ought to be the worst way to watch the opening cutscene of Melee. Yeah, I don't know if there's literally anything I can do to fix this. This is cool, though. Yeah, that's a little off. Let me get my controller, actually. I'm gathering this is just going to be a permanent issue. It's just always going to look somewhat like this. But here we are. It's very difficult to navigate this menu. I think I'm on data. There we go, versus mode. 
Okay, let's try to pick Kirby. Uh... Oh boy. This ain't... <laughs> this ain't working out too well. Where is the CPU cursor? Oh yeah, I gotta log them in on this game. Okay, they're Mario. Uh... <laughs> oh no, it's Poke Floats. Um... <laughs> I'm playing one-handed. I also can't exactly see. Imagine you bring this to your local instead of just like the Spongebob CRT or whatever is the funny meme now. I can't even get up on Steelix. Is that Onyx? Wait, oh, no, I am on Onyx. Wow. That's cool. Okay, I, I am winning. Let's go. I'm going to to try and kill Mario. It's not exactly working out too well. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Honestly, this doesn't even look terrible. I just wish the screen would stay in one place. Cause it's just it's just melee, but in black and white. And like who wouldn't want to play that? Mario's at 89%, which means I think I'm doing good. Yeah. So I think I think that's <laughs> Just about enough of that, but I kind of want to go to the end of this match. I have no idea where I am. I might die. No, we're good. The thing is, I can't even tell you which one of these screens is better to look at. Because while the phone camera is more stable, I technically get both angles of the screen at the same time when I'm on looking at the actual TV itself. And, uh, this is great. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, I'm three stocks ahead. Let's go. Where am I? Oh. Whooper! Whooper, please! Okay. I won. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> it says first. Yeah. Also, I think these two consoles use the exact same, like, AV cords. So I think I'm about to try switching them out and see if that actually helps. So maybe the 64 will work too. Who knows? Okay, so here we are. I got the 64 also working. But does it... It actually does! Yo! <laughs> For as much as working can get you on this, but... For what it is, it's still, uh, functioning. Okay. Now I gotta play the best character in this game, uh, Kirby. I know he was the worst character in the last game, but that's why I didn't say that. Because I would get made fun of on the internet. And we never want that. Let's see, the game chose Kirby because it knows he's the best. Okay, so, uh... How you feel about this? For what it, it's worth, the audio was actually surprisingly clear. I forgot you have to use tap jump in this game. You can't use actual jump button, that's gross. I have to readjust my instincts to not using tap jump. Who died? I have no idea what is going on. I kind of wanted to like test the Xbox 360 on here, but I think we kind of already know how that one's going to pan out. So I also really don't want to. Like, that's totally me. Kirby wins. You see, I was playing as Kirby. That was me. You know what I do actually really want to see is Mario 64. Hold on. Okay, so let's see. Mario 64 is in here. Just... Nothing? Nothing at all? Huh. That's odd. Let me try putting Smash in again. And see if that just boots up instantly. Yeah. Is there something wrong with Mario 64? Yeah, wiggling the cartridge ain't helping. Uh, let's try Banjo then. Can we do this? Yeah, I don't know what was going on with Mario 64. For what it's worth, I've tested all these cartridges on like an actual like CRT and a flat screen and they work perfectly fine on both. No idea what's wrong with this. 
There he is. This is incredible. Uh, man, okay, so, go, uh huh? I just kind of wanted to show this. Because this is incredible. What's weird is that the N64 came out before this, and it looks terrible on it. Like, even if there wasn't this weird screen glitching, it would still look bad. I really just don't understand. I guess that's my thing. I just really don't understand why. So, like, let's just first of all see... I mean, it's, it is $6.99. So, this is $7. I guarantee it wasn't in 2002, but... Okay, so here we are in TV mode. I'm gonna try to get the camera to focus on the TV as little as possible until it actually like changes. But I have this going for me, so let's just see. We're getting something. I don't think it's gonna change actually. And that's not the best sound. Let's try switching to a different signal. Nothing really? Okay, let's try the third one. Uh, it looks like it's trying to pick something up here, but it fails. The, the screen does noticeably start shaking a lot more, like it's actually trying to display something now. But it, it stops immediately after, and I don't particularly know if it'll actually work. Yeah, I've lost hope on that idea. <laughs> so, all in all, it's kind of bad. I mean, for seven dollars, you can display something. I guess that's a thing that you can do. Sometimes, usually not really, but I still kind of don't know what the problem was with my N64 AV cord, but here we are. Um, I just don't understand. Like, this it was made in 2002, and this was also made in 2002. <laughs> Actually, maybe 2001, I don't remember, but... Eh. Eh. It really feels like, for one, why doesn't it have stereo audio? Like, that just seems a really, like, a lazy thing to do. And it also had, like, 10, like, D batteries. Like, no one has 10 D batteries, you're gonna have to buy them. And that's expensive as all hell. So like, what's the point of making like a super cheapo TV if it's just gonna take like a ton of money to power anyways? And like, the signal is garbage when it does work. And when it doesn't, it really doesn't. <laughs> so, I don't particularly understand the point of this little thing, but I guess it's neat. But like, wasn't the iPhone made, like, just a few years after this? Wasn't, like, it, it literally had, like, a smaller screen to it that was full color and entirely portable and rechargeable? So, like, 
What the hell is this? <laughs>